I spent my entire life imagining pregnancy. When I pictured myself pregnant, I saw myself walking through an orange grove. Don't ask me why. I have never even set foot in an orange grove. But in my head, pregnancy would be another lifetime, and it would bring with it another Sophie, one who picked fruit on a farm at Golden Hour in a flowy linen. But daydreams are not reality. I've always known that it could take months or even years to get pregnant, but it didn't really hit me no. until I took my first negative test. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Try again in two days. Suddenly, I was bobbing in a sea of questions. Is my body okay? Is David? Will we ever get pregnant? How long will it take? Should I have started sooner? What changes do I need to make? Who can I talk to? And when? I watched countless videos and realized just how miraculous conception really is. I've taken pregnancy and birth for granted my whole life. But the reality is that there are a million tiny steps along a cliff's edge between deciding the time is right and delivering a healthy baby. Another negative test. And my legs started to feel weak from treading water. Hon, can you come here and help me with something? Are you pregnant? You're pregnant? <laughs> Is this real? Yes! Is this actually real? Yes! It's, it's actually real! <laughs> I mean, it's very early. Oh my so god. So who knows? Who knows what will happen, but... It means I can get pregnant. I am pregnant, I can get pregnant, you can get me pregnant. Everything's working. Everything's good. You say, Sophie's pregnant. <laughs> there's no New York trip, there's no podcast trip happening. We gave you fake flight details. We are here because Sophie is pregnant. Oh, wow. Oh, my oh, God. My God. <gasps> oh, yay. I'm pregnant. No. Baby. Hello. Hey guys, so, guess what? What? Sophie's pregnant. <laughs> well, actually, I'm not fasting. The fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Come clean David. on. Alrighty. <laughs> to my pod crushed family, it's time I finally tell you that I'm pregnant. <gasps> Congratulations. <laughs> Yay. What? Thank you. What? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it's been several weeks. So you've I've been, been lying. lying to us. They were dying. Ready? Now what? You guess what my secret is? No? You're okay. having a child. 
I am. Oh, I'm pregnant. As the weeks passed, my body didn't change the way I expected it to. The symptoms were negligible, things I could explain away with a bad night's sleep. So the anxiety returned. But this time, instead of asking if I could get pregnant, I wondered to myself if I could stay pregnant. I'm eight weeks. I just have this bad feeling that it's not going well. I was feeling like fine to tell people and excited and now like I'll I'll like be about to tell somebody and I just have this horrible like sinking feeling like don't don't tell them because it's not gonna happen. I think part of it is that I have like pretty much no symptoms which I know that happens to a lot of people but also also it can be linked to a non viable pregnancy. So much of this pregnancy has been really, like, happy and excited, and I don't really ever film these moments, but it's, like, it's a lot like this, too, where I just feel so nervous, and, like, just don't feel like it's going well. I had heard so much about the physical toll of pregnancy, but I hadn't heard anyone talk about how a lack of physical symptoms could send you into a mental tailspin. Then... Day of first scan. I am so excited. I have been feeling really nervous and anxious leading up to today, but today I'm just like putting all those thoughts out of my head and I'm just very excited and eager to see what happens. Yeah. I love you. How do you feel? I can't describe it. It's like so many emotions. Give me one sec when we get in the right position. David, do you want to come around? Sure. And because we're over eight weeks, we're going to listen. Get oh the gosh. video camera yeah. ready. <laughs> I heard the heartbeat. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and all worry and stress drifted away. I didn't know the relief that that sound would bring me. But sure enough, like a wave, the worry returned as something new inevitably popped up. This time an abnormality in my genetic screening. I felt like I had talked to so many women about their pregnancies. No one I knew had any genetic abnormalities. Now not only was I worried, but in a matter of seconds it felt like I was whooshed far, far away from any pregnant woman I had ever known. Suddenly, something that I had been told would make me feel connected to other women was making me feel more isolated than ever. There have been countless things to worry about in these few short months, and in all my daydreams, all the scenarios I pictured, worry was never present. Pregnancy has been a teacher for me. Every day I've had to practice reeling my mind back from the future and returning to the present. I have felt more worry in these months than I have ever experienced before. But I've also felt more joy. We have our first scan today. More confirmation. I am deciding to feel better. I'm deciding to trust in the process. And more quiet connection to my body. The lows and the highs are both very real. And the only thing that is certain is that they each pass to make way for the other. The truth is that this isn't the pregnancy of my daydreams. It isn't at all what I expected. And there have been times that I've felt robbed of the fantasy I spent decades building. But really, this is better than any fantasy. There's a second heart beating inside of me right now. <laughs> and that's more than my feeble mind could ever dream up. So I'll take the real thing every single time. That's definitely the baby. That's 100% the baby. 